I still get so excited when there's a popular new shell challenge in the Sims 4 community. I'd be running up that hill for a new little Simsy shell challenge, I swear. Vecna could have me in his grass and I get a little Simsy notification and like Sims 2 music starts playing <laughs> and I am out of there. I am a free woman. Anyway, go on the gallery, type in little Simsy and find her newest shell challenge. It's called the Simsy chicken shell. Download it and there we have the Simsy the chicken shell. This is probably like the fourth or fifth little Simsy shell challenge that I've done on this channel. Probably getting kind of weird at this point, but I don't care. They're fun. <laughs> Rules of this challenge here are simple. All you have to do is not touch the walls while you're building, but you have to turn this shape into something cool. You can turn it into whatever you want, but you cannot change the exterior walls here at all. But I'm going to jump straight into roofing. That's kind of my favorite go-to when doing a shell challenge. I like to roof it first, see what we got. And when I'm roofing, I'll look at shapes. So basically I'm trying to see where I can like extend roofing pieces. I always like to have one kind of like here and I think I'm going to extend that maybe back to like this part. And obviously that looks a little weird, but I'm going to copy and paste this one and I'm going to try and see if this is going to help. Maybe if I like pull it back a little bit. <laughs> no, let's do that one there. And then let's put one here, maybe just for like a little added detail. I have been outside a lot lately. I've been out there living my little garden her life. So I feel like gardening has been on my mind a lot this summer. I'm thinking for the style. I've done a whole build series about gardening, so I'm not gonna like go down that road again. But it could be a cute little cottage, maybe like whimsical vibes. So now that I have my roofing done, I'm going in with some platforms to make more designs on this. The shell had a few weird features going on, mostly like this weird like two wall like bump out there and this here. So I think this is gonna be my front entryway. I'm bringing in some of the adjusters here for my roofing. In terms of roofing, I think that looks pretty cute. Okay, let's find some columns. I think I wanna go with maybe these ones here from base game today. So I'm gonna put that on the side of there because I feel like that one wall just looks weird. And then I can add them here to my patio. And I always feel like it looks really weird when columns stick out like that. Like Sims 4, please give us free moving columns. It's due time. But anyway, we're gonna fix that there with this thicker trim, just so that you can't see the edges like hanging out like that we're just gonna go like that I'm gonna do the same thing over here and there is gonna be like the basis of our house I do think I'm gonna change the wall height because I want to play around with platforms today so I'm gonna dry out my platforms I know here is gonna obviously be a little patio we can extend it all the way to the front maybe do like something here I can bring out my entryway and maybe just like connect it together like something like that I think I want this one to be on a higher level and this one to be a little bit higher as well I think that's gonna add just a little bit of dimension and now we can go in with some kind of flooring. I'm thinking like a hardwood. I really want to build for like maybe an elder today, but I do want it to be colorful. I don't think I've done a blue little Simsy shell challenge in a while, but it's just so fitting. I'm going to go in with this muted blue from Spot A. We'll change our roofing to like a brown color there. And because of my platforms, I'm going to have a few issues with my roofing. Just some kind of glitch in The Sims 4 does that. I think to counteract that, I'm going to have to bring my platform all the way to the front just so we don't see that. We're gonna add some platform trim. I'm gonna do this tiled flooring here from Get Famous on my platforms. And now I think I'm gonna start to add my windows and doors. And I said I wanted to go colorful today. What if we attempted to use these like lime green shutters from Cottage Living? I think it's gonna work. The blue is just muted enough that I think I should be able to get away with it. So we'll do those shutters there. I'm gonna go in with maybe like this one at the front. And then for my door, I think I'm gonna use that lime green one as well. My favorite thing about small Sims 4 shell challenges or small houses in The Sims in general is that we're gonna go in with so much detail. We have the time. We're gonna have the patience to do it, hopefully. Also from The Sims 4 Cottage Living, I've been adding these here to my builds recently and I'm gonna show you a good way to do it. So originally I would just like put them on my roof like that. But you can actually go in, hold shift on your keyboard and that'll allow you to just pull out this one adjuster. So clicking on this arrow here, I'm just gonna like pull it right over top of that and that'll hide the extra roofing part of that item underneath your already existing roofing. I feel like it looks a lot cleaner. It's a little weird because of the overhang, but I'm gonna compensate for that by using just like some of these in there, just adding some details so it looks a little bit normal. I'm gonna open up debug. bb.show live edit objects. I think I just want it for landscaping today.
today because Strangerville has this really cute green awning that I want to use. I'm just going to raise that up using control nine on my keyboard. And we're just going to put that right over top of the windows that we just added. I think some pink would be really cute added to this. I'm looking at those flowers, pulling some colors from there. And I think it would be really fitting if we got nifty knitting and used some of these in like pink. <laughs> yeah, like two pink rockers right here. We can get just like a small outdoor table. And that means our landscaping can be pink. I'm a big old fan of pink landscaping. <laughs> pink and yellow are my go-to. I need to like get garden flowers for my real house. I currently have literally no landscaping outside and it's driving me crazy. It's like, welcome to my house. Here's a massive mountain of dirt. Gonna add a mailbox right there, add a chimney. And I think I'm gonna use these here from Eco Lifestyle. I'm gonna just extend on what we've got here already by adding another design. So I'm gonna go in and use both of these items from Eco Lifestyle, just forming like a crisscross pattern. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here with our other patio. For landscaping, we're gonna do a little bit of terrain paint. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple just leading out, but I picture flamingos in this build. So I'm gonna just add those so I don't forget. You guys just hang out for a hot minute. Ooh, we could go in with another debug Strangerville item. This is just gonna be a regular white fence. I think I'm gonna bring that around to about here. I feel like debug sometimes is like thrift shopping in The Sims 4. It's like you can find some secret hidden items that are still not custom content. And people are like, oh, where'd you get that? And you're like, oh, I just searched for hours through the catalog of debug. And some people are like, yeah, I am not doing that, but hey, good find. Okay, so with all my landscaping, most of this was found in debug. This is what it's looking like. We have a cute little pond here at the front. Our flamingos are just chilling. We've got our rocking chairs there at the front. And yeah, these cute trees, I think they were from my wedding stories. Then around the back, we've got this cute little area. I have a picnic table, some other my wedding stories decor from debug, my laundry day stuff here, and just some other added details that I thought looked really cute back here. I added some more flamingos. I do think I need a little something in there still. So let's see what kind of swatches we have for this here. I feel like I could find something that matches our color scheme. Like this one looks pretty good. Let's get that swatch for these chairs and we'll put them in here with like a little hanging light and this can be just a little conversation area. Ooh, with like a ceiling fan. This house could totally also have these. Okay, I'm gonna get carried away with adding like the eclectic weird backyard landscaping. I gotta stop. Okay, there we go. I added more of those little flowers. This is what the outside of our house is looking like. Let's go inside. I, is that like, I have paint in my hair. I was outside painting yesterday. Dude, now that's gonna look like gray hair. Okay, I have gray hair, but that's not one of them, all right? <laughs> Okay, going inside. I'm gonna just quickly add some lighting so I can see what we're doing in here. For our floor plan, this is my entryway here, but I also have a back door here. And then this little like two tile thing is an actual nightmare. So, okay, my first thought was not to have my bedroom at the very front of this thing. I actually wanted to put it in the back leg here, but that's not gonna work with our back door. So I think what I'm gonna do is just extend this part here and my bedroom can be at the front. Then we'll have a little entryway right there. And then over here, my bathroom can maybe go like right here. Yeah, I think our best bet is gonna be bathroom right there. And then that's gonna be it. Just a one bedroom, simple little house. I do wanna keep with the lime green color scheme in here, but I don't really know what it's gonna look like yet. So for now, I'm just gonna grab some white paint and we're gonna paint it later. I told you guys in one of my previous videos recently that I'm going through a big cats and dogs phase. And I feel like this chair specifically, it was just calling my name. That actually is a really cute swatch. I'm gonna try and make that work. We'll get the matching poof. I wish this couch wasn't so top heavy. It's like they took this chair and just like pulled it apart. <laughs> One thing I know we're gonna need for sure is a fireplace. So I'm gonna put that here and go from there. Ooh, that swatch is really pretty. I'm considering going blue for this for the pure reason that I wanna match this chair. We're gonna put this TV on top. I don't know how many times we're gonna change this color scheme here before it works out, but I'm on color change number like five already. I think we're on to something though. I like how this is looking. Okay, I'm leaving it here. Final answer is bold. I don't think I've ever used this color, but we're staying. I've added this here from Cats and Dogs as like a windowsill. I think it's gonna look super cute with some clutter on there. We have to get that knitting thing because we do have the knitting like rocking chairs outside. Okay, there we go. That bookshelf pulling it all together. I'm gonna need some kind of like hallway table for this. Let me tell you, this orangey wood is not something easy to pull off. Okay, remember when I said I 
was done changing the wallpaper last time. I'm not, <laughs> but here we are. I'm gonna leave it. I need to literally walk away. Otherwise I'm gonna be here for hours. I'm gonna turn around and do the other side. This is where we're gonna be doing the kitchen and everything. So let's go ahead and get something cute to put in here. I'm thinking like this could look nice. And looking at this, I was thinking that could be a good spot for like laundry. That's that awkward like two tile thing that I don't know what to do about. I think we could do a pantry in there. So I'm gonna line that back area there with shelves. I could maybe put a counter down below there. Oh, definitely with these. I've been trying to find like these wood tones that match throughout all the different packs and it's so hard. I'm gonna try and do oven here, counters, shelving like that. And I'm gonna try and make this work. I'm feeling extra patient today. So I'm gonna be going in debug and finding some more like thrifty items from there. There are tons of fun pantry items in here from base game. Like those are supposed to be macaroni. Got some fertilizer, <laughs> elixir of fertility. I didn't know we had this kind of stuff in outdoor retreat. Fungal infusion fertilizer. Fire leaf extract? Wait, how come I'm just realizing these? Destress, girl. Tummy therapy, what? Okay, yeah, all of these are going in here. I don't know what they're for, but download this to find out. Herbology potion? Like, hello? You know what? We're just gonna call this the pantry of mystery. It's full of potions. Drink them and find out. Pepper spray? I don't think that's legal. I have an idea. This might look like a normal cottage on the outside, but there's some weird stuff going on in here. Again with the pepper spray. Right, that is an illegal item. It's a weapon. All right, kitchen and dining are complete with our weird pantry of mystery in the back. Just gonna hide that there with the camera. And then we've just got a whole bunch of cute glitter in here. I quite like it. Let's do the bathroom. And then we're gonna finally do the bedroom. Bathroom, I'm gonna go with this yellow tile. We're definitely building for like an older sim here. So I think that's kind of fitting. Let's do like this bathroom tile. I think I might keep it pretty simple in here. We'll do, oh, let's do this tub here from cats and dogs with the toilet to match and the matching sink because obviously it'll just be a full cats and dogs bathroom. <laughs> Does anyone else go through phases like this? Like I, every month or so it changes and a new pack is like my favorite pack. I can't help it. Let me know if that happens to you and if so, what phase are you in? Hit you with another wallpaper change and we're moving along. <laughs> we're gonna pull it all together, finishing off with that pink and green color scheme. Pink and green color scheme. I'm gonna use that pink bed there. I wanna make sure that our Sims can get back there. Maybe my bed would be best there. I'm going to use stools as my end tables because I don't know if I have much room to fit anything else. And I'm going to put these on top, I think. Ooh, that looks cute. Okay, I need to do a dresser maybe over here or I can see like a vanity maybe. Cute. Okay, I need a plant in the corner, some pictures on the wall. I might put another like stand-up mirror right there. Okay, looking cute so far. I do still need a dresser. So I think over here, I'm going to have to find something to stand up right there. And there we go. I think this is how I'm going gonna leave it. I've got some cats and dogs furniture in here, a bookshelf, a dresser. I also added some more cats and dogs art over there. On this side, we have wall art from Cottage Living and our little vanity in the corner. I think this turned out so cute. Such a precious little like build. And that is how our little Sinsy Shell Challenge turned out this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will put this on the gallery under Sydney Macarada if you want to download it. And Lil Simsy's link to her video will be down below so you can see how she did it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.